All right, well, we've got here 12 pirates. They're going to divide up a treasure chest of gold, and here's how they're going to do it. First pirate's going to come along, take one twelfth of the gold that's in the chest. Second pirate's going to come along, take two twelfths of whatever's left after the first pirate is finished. Third pirate's going to take three twelfths of whatever's left after the second pirate finished, and on and on and on. And let's see what happens here. Each pirate gets a positive whole number of coins, and the number of coins that was in the chest is the smallest number of coins for which it's possible for each pirate to get a positive number of coins, positive whole number of coins, using this process. And we're going to start with X, because X marks the spot. X is the number of coins that was in the chest at the beginning. Now the first pirate comes along, takes one twelfth, that leaves eleven twelfths, remaining for the next pirate who comes along. And the next pirate, second pirate, takes two twelfths and leaves ten twelfths of what was there when she got there for the next pirate. So she gets there, there's this much, she's going to leave ten twelfths of this amount for the next pirate. Next pirate comes along, takes three twelfths, leaves nine twelfths of this for the following pirate. And on and on and on we go until we get to the last few pirates. The eleventh pirate takes eleven twelfths, leaves one twelfth of what was there for the last pirate who comes along and takes everything that's left. Well, that's what we want to figure out. How much does this the last pirate receive? So we want to figure out what the value of this expression is. And we can write this a lot shorter as x times 11 factorial over 12 to the 11th. And we want to figure out what this is. Now, x is the smallest value that makes this an integer. Well, actually, x is the smallest value that makes sure each pirate gets an integer number of coins. I'm not going to worry about that right now. I'm just going to worry about the last pirate. Uh, and, and figure out what the last pirate gets. So, well, if x, if you just choose x is 12 to the 11th, well, then this will come out to be an integer, but 11 factorial is not any of these choices. So, we can simplify this fraction. We can take out all the factors of 2 and 3 from this 11 factorial, see what's left. We're going to be left with a factor of 11, and then we're going to have two 5s from the 5 and the 10, and we're going to have a 7 sitting in there. And then we need to figure out, well, if we're going to simplify this fraction, take out factors of 2. I mean, we could stop right here, just compute this and, and call that the answer, but I'm a little bothered by that whole every pirate has to get an integer number of coins thing. But let's go ahead and simplify this fraction. The number of 2's in 11 factorial, number of factors of 2, you get 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, that's 5. You get an extra one from the 4, two extra ones from the 8. Eight factors of 2 up here, there are 22 down there, that leaves us 2 to the 14th. And then the factors of 3, you have 3, 6, and 9 up there, you get an extra factor of 3 and the 9. Four factors of 3 up there, 11 down there, that leaves us 3 to the 7th. Now we can go ahead and multiply out this numerator, 7 times 11, that's 77, times 25. Well, 80 times 25, that's 2,000. So 77 times 25 is going to be 1925. And that makes us happy because 1925 is sitting right there. But, you know, you'd be forgiven for just circling the 1925, calling it D and moving on. But seeing that 3850 right there, that scares me a little bit. It makes me remember that each pirate has to get a positive whole number of coins. So maybe there's a reason we have to multiply by 2 somewhere. So one way to check your answer is just to work it through. Let x be 2 to the 14th times 3 to the 7th and see if each pirate gets a positive whole number of coins. Now, if you're jammed on time on the test, you're going to bubble D and move on, and that's probably the right thing to do, because it sure looks like you're going to get a positive, you're going to get a whole number of coins at each step, but let's just check it real quick. If we start off with 2 to the 14th times 3 to the 7th coins, what happens? We want to make sure we end up with 1925 at the end, and we want to make sure each pirate has a positive whole number of coins. So here we go. We start off with 2 to the 14th times 3 to the 7th coins. I'm going to box this off because we're going to need a little space here. First pirate's going to take one twelfth of that. That's going to work out just fine. And leave eleven times two, eleven twelfths of it, eleven times two to the twelfth, times three to the sixth. Now you see why we have to start worrying. We're going to be chipping away at these powers of two and three. We just don't ever want to end up with a fractional number of coins. Next pirate comes along, needs to take two twelfths, one sixth of this. That's going to work out just fine. And going to leave five sixths of this amount. Leaving 5 6 of this gives us a factor of 5 there, but it's going to take away another factor of 2, another factor of 3. Next person comes along, 
takes one quarter of the coins, leaves three quarters of the coins. So that's going to throw another factor of three back in, but take two factors of two away. So this is how many coins we have left. Then the next one comes in and takes one third, that's four twelfths, leaves two thirds of this amount, takes away a factor of three, throws in another factor of two. Next one's going to come along, take five twelfths, leave seven twelfths. So that's seven times fifty-five. Now this now we're knocking out two factors of two and a factor of three. Next one's going to come along, take half, leave half. That one's pretty easy. Just knocks out another factor of two. Next one comes along, takes seven twelfths, leaves five twelfths. And we know what 5 times 7 times 55 is now. We've already computed that. 1925 times 2 to the 5th times 3 cubed. Next one comes in and takes away 8 twelfths, leaving 4 twelfths of this amount. So leaving 1 third of this, leaving 1925 times 2 to the 5th times 3 squared. Whew almost there. Next one comes along, takes three quarters, leaves one quarter of this amount. And then the next one comes along, that's this one right here, is taking ten twelfths, leaving two twelfths, leaving one sixth of this amount. As you can see at each step, the pirate who's walking away with the loot is walking away with an integer number of coins. And finally here at the end, the last one's going to come in and take 11 twelfths of this, which is going to work out just fine. You're going to get a whole number of coins because we have that factor of 12 right there, and we're going to leave 1 twelfth remaining, which is the 1925 coins. So if you had just bubbled D and moved on, it all worked out just fine, and we're done.